Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this channel Mighty Support. So friends, in previous video, we have discussed about how to make use of Jenny effectively in order to create different sections of your research document with proper in-text citations and references, how to paraphrase the text effectively, how to simplify your self-written text or improve its fluency, how to chat with the PDFs so that you can extract specific information from refereed research articles and many other points we have discussed. So if you have not gone through that video, the link is there in this video description. So I'll suggest you to go through that video and now in this video we'll be discussing about how to export references from the Jenny to Zotero and from Zotero to Jenny so this is the document that I have created by using this Jenny with index citations along with the list of references okay so we have discussed how to insert these index citations in previous video but still let me just recall it for example if I want to insert the citation at this position then simply you have to type at the red so once you will do that, you will be able to get this window where you will be able to cite the research articles those you have already added under this library or if you have not added any research articles then directly this Jenny AI will be able to help you to track the related research articles from web and you will be able to cite those research articles. So you have to just click on the discover. For example, if I want to add cite this, then you have to simply click on that. You will be able to see that this research article or this citation is added. So similarly, you will be able to add number of citations and simultaneously automatically this references list would be updated. Now let us first understand why it is required to export all these references to Zotero. So this is because this is the basic model that is offering you only few choices of reference management. But if you want to format your written research document according to any specific journals formatting requirement or guidelines, then yes, you have to export this document in word format and there you may use these plugins like Zotero, Mendeley, EndNote and you can convert your written document according to any journal formatting requirements very quickly. Okay, because of that you need to export that or sometimes if you are working on any specific documents with the Zotero then in that case also if you want to add any additional details you can export those references here in this Jenny uh, AI. So this flexibility is really necessary but you need to practice a lot in order to make yourself expert in this. So you can create an account on this Jenny and you can use this Jenny free of cost but obviously with some limited features. So if you want to upgrade it to premium version, I have provided the link in this video description. So you have to click on that link and you can provide this discount coupon so that you will be able to get additional 20% discount. Now first let us discuss how to export these references from Jenny to Zotero. So this is really very simple. So first you have to just click on copy as bib text so copied bib text format to clipboard and then you have to move to your zotero desktop app so it is really very simple to install this zotero so if you have any queries you can ask through comments i'll be able to help you to download and install the zotero so right now i don't have any research articles or documents added here so what i'll do is i'll just click on file and then import from clipboard so once i'll do that you will be able to see this all these articles total seven articles are added here in my zotero and from here you will be able to use all these articles in your research articles means you need not to add each and every article separately in zotero so this is about how you can add this references how you can export these references to your Zotero and this Zotero is also available free of cost. Now first I will just select all these research articles, right click and move item to trash. Okay. Now first what I will do is I will add some research articles here and I will use drag and drop. So these are the research articles I have already downloaded in my PC. So I will select few of these research articles and I will simply drag all these research articles here. Okay, so you will be able to see that all these research articles are added and now in order to export these research articles from Zotero to Jenny, so you have to click on file and then export library. So simply you have to click on OK so that this will ask your location where you want to save this BibText file. So I would like to save it in this folder and okay, now you have to get back. To your Jenny interface and then again you have to go to your library now you have to click on 
this plus button and import bibtex so you have to select that file which we have saved so this is the file my library you have to select that file open and then import to library so on the right side you will be able to see this research articles are synchronized even though you are getting this message no bibtex data entered you can cancel this and you will be able to see this import my library so all those research articles i had added in my zotero interface are now synchronized with my jenny interface so this is just a demonstration i have given you for five to six references but there is a case that will be handling 200 to 300 references so in that case it becomes really difficult to add all these references manually all these pdf files manually and hence if you are writing your research documents by using this jenny ai and with zotero then definitely this export of references to zotero and back to the jenny ai will help you a lot and now as you have imported all these references you can start inserting the citations for example you can type at the rate you'll be able to click on the library and you'll be able to select any one of these research articles add citation okay accordingly your references section will be modified again you can export this written research document in your word format and you can again rework on the same document with the help of zotero add-in to the microsoft word so in this way this synchronization will help you a lot in simplifying your referencing and citation work and also able to save a lot of your time so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you and please do not forget to click on the link which is provided in this video description and to apply this discount coupon so that you will be able to get 20 percent additional discount so thank you very much once again and i'll see you in my next video bye bye